So we just got two new artifact sets that will come out in the Sumeru region, and while they might not seem like much on the surface, it actually gives us a lot of insight into Dendro as an element, and also completely new team options to build with. So let's discuss what they bring to the table. We'll start with Guild of Dreams. Two piece says Elemental Mastery plus 80. And the four piece buff says within 8 seconds of triggering an elemental reaction, the character equipping this will obtain buffs based on the elemental type of the other party members. Attack is increased by 14% for each party member whose elemental type is the same, and elemental mastery is increased by 50 for every party member with a different elemental type. Each of the aforementioned buffs will count up to 3 characters. This effect can be triggered once every 8 seconds. The character who equips this can still trigger its effects when not on field. Now, the first time I read this artifact set I almost fell out of my chair, because I thought it boosts the other party members on your team, and I thought it was just gonna be the craziest thing. Now, in my defense, I am a Yu-Gi-Oh player, so every time I see a paragraph, I start shaking violently. So the question becomes, what does this artifact set actually do? Well, let's say you have a team that is specifically one element. This artifact set will actually give you a 42% attack boost, which is 6% over if you were to just have two sets of two-piece any 18 attacker. So is that gonna be useful? Not really. See, more often than not, the 15% elemental boost was better than just 18% attack. The reason is a bit complicated, but it's basically because of how damage is calculated. Adding 6 more percent onto that might be decent, but you actually have to just play a mono any color team. So while I think this will be pretty cool if you like to just experiment with, you know, different teams and stuff, I don't think it's gonna necessarily, like, break the game or anything. Now let's talk about its second effect which seems to be where it's mostly used. Having a team with four different elements is pretty common nowadays. Reactions are quite good, and getting a bunch of elemental mastery on top is obviously really good. Now, I think we can all assume that one of the upcoming characters is really gonna care about elemental mastery, and this is gonna be the perfect set for them. My guess is on a um, Catboy. Basically, if you have four different characters that all have different elements, you will get the 80 from the two-piece, plus 150, from the four piece. This is obviously good in a team where elements are just flying all over the place, and I think it might actually see some play purely because of that. Especially as we get more characters that actually care about elemental mastery. Now I'm pretty sure there is a big amount of people who are, you know, asking is this gonna, you know, bring Cookie to the forefront? I don't really think so. I'll be honest with you. This set really doesn't provide anything useful outside of just giving Cookie more healing, which isn't that great? This set will be far more used for just crazy teams that constantly do reactions, and I'm actually quite excited to see what they can come up with. It is basically a full free-for-all for every single team that wants to constantly do reactions, and there is a lot of those in Genshin. Something to remember is that a plus 20 elemental mastery hourglass only gives you around 190 elemental mastery, which means that this boost is actually just a full artifact by itself. It is definitely going to be crazy on any character that wants to utilize Elemental Mastery, but even outside of that, it might actually just be pretty good. We will just have to wait and see what we can do with it. Now let's hop onto the set that seems really basic on surface, but actually explains a hell of a lot about Dendro. Two pieces, the standard Dendro damage bonus plus 15%, like every other set, except for physical, I believe. And the four piece says, after Elemental skills or bursts hit opponents, the target's dendro resistance will be decreased by 30% for 8 seconds. This effect can be triggered even if the equipping character is not on the field. So this seems really basic, but it actually tells us something about how dendro will be built. First of all, the fact that the 4-piece boost is extremely generic, aka activating whenever a skill or a burst hits an opponent, means that you don't necessarily have to put a dendro character with this set. Having any dendro DPS and then giving this to a support that can hit enemies every 8 seconds is actually completely fine. For example, giving this to your healer so they can take out the dendro resistance of everyone while healing you is pretty decent. The problem with it is that two pieces then useless. So what does that mean? Well, it means that dendro is kind of planned to be built as a duo, if anything. If Hoi obviously understands how they build their own artifacts, the idea is to have one support that has a four piece who will constantly shred enemy resistances and then have a dendro main DPS who will benefit off of that. The only way the synergy between these characters can be broken is in the case 
that having somebody else will actually bring you more damage to the table. But there is a really high chance that you will actually need 4 pieces of this set if you want to play any Dendro DPS. Even if you don't have a second Dendro or you don't want to play a second Dendro, putting this on anyone so they can shred resistances seems to be the way to go for now. Now obviously as we see how new characters are gonna play, we will see how the building path goes, but for now all there is to say is that while these seem kind of targeted and for specific themes, they actually don't seem to be bad in those themes. We saw that Hoyo has been trying to give more love to Elemental Mastery, which is basically what this 4P set will be doing, and then there seems to be kind of a half Geo, where you don't want to just have Dendro, but you probably want to play multiples of them together. And that is basically it for this brief analysis of what is to come. Of course, I could always be wrong. Feel free to leave down below what you think of these artifacts. Anyway, that's it. Bye bye.